Hi guys, so this morning I got a box from FedEx from Physicians Formula and I was going to do an unboxing video of all of their 2017 launches um, but I'm glad that I didn't because when I opened the box the highlighter from this trio shattered into a million tiny pieces and was all over everything so if I had opened it up on camera I would have had shimmer powder everywhere so this is an unboxing but it's more of like a first thoughts because i have already opened the box and washed all of the products off and i was just kissing my cat which i should not do when i have sticky lips <laughs> so why don't we just jump right in and i'll tell you a little bit of information about the 2017 launches from physicians formula and i'm going to go in order of how i would use them on my face so the first is the Physicians Formula Insta Ready Face Primer. Comes in this little bottle with kind of a holographic metal sticker on the bottom. And it says that it has an SPF of 18, it primes and protects the skin with a proprietary blend of color filter pigments, high tech polymers, and film formers that deliver maximum skin adhesion for extended performance. It's the first ever mattifying primer with SPF 18. It's weightless and visible coverage that preps skin to create a perfect canvas for flawless application. It can be worn alone or under makeup, and it will be available in March of 2017 for $12.95. So it comes in like a squirt bottle, and you turn it one way to open and one way to lock. So I have it in open, and I had tried this before, and it was not coming out of the bottle. Let me see if it'll work. Okay, now it's working. And you can see it's kind of like a silicone-y, a silicone kind of base. Very slippery. Has a funky smell. Okay, I, mm, no. It's not, it's not rubbing down. I don't know if you can see this. It's just staying bumpy on my skin. I'm not sure if you can see that. But it's not rubbing down into my skin. It's just staying bumpy and greasy. So right off the bat, I'm not loving this one. It's got a weird smell and it's very clumpy. Moving on to the Organic Wear Bright Booster Oil Elixir. This is... Let's see, this has mongongo oil and rhodiola rosea extract and it's loaded with natural antioxidants to promote beautiful energy boosted skin instantly and long term without using harsh chemicals and preservatives. It's supposed to leave your skin non-sticky and leave it silky and soft. And the signs of aging appear visibly reduced while skin appears smoother, more radiant, revived, rejuvenated, and nourished instantly, which is nice. Uh, it has a self-loading dropper, and this will be available in March for $14.95. It's very similar to the serum bottles. It has the glass dropper, and you press down to dispense or to soak up. Let me see if I can soak up anymore. Let's try this. This smells like lavender. I use a lavender essential oil when I can't sleep and this reminds me of it. We also use lavender products on our youngest at bedtime. It leaves your skin with a little bit of an oily sheen. I'm not sure if this is recommended for people with oily skin. I have normal combo skin, so I get oily, you know, here and around my nose. So I will be curious to see how this works on me. But first impression is it smells good, and it does make my skin feel very healthy. So we shall see. Next are the products that I've seen all over social media. They are the Cushion Corrector and Primer Mineral Wear products from Physicians Formula. You can see in the back that they have the two colors inside, just like on the cover. 
you have the yellow to correct dark circles, the blue to correct redness, like from acne scarring. This brightens darkening, this brightens dullness. And it has the all-in-one ABC cushion technology, airbrushing, blurring, and correcting. SPF of 20 sunscreen, it won't clog pores and is non-irritating and is suitable for all skin types, which is nice. Okay. Now how these work, it's similar to the cushion foundations. You open, there's a mirror and an applicator, the dual color applicator, which is very cute to kind of match the dual colors inside. Then it has this plastic seal, and then there was a tab over it, but I did pull it off when I tried filming earlier. And you can see you get both the peach and the purple. There they are. And then once you're done applying, you need to make sure that you seal this, but my Mineral Wear Cushion Foundation from Physicians Formula I opened maybe a month ago and mine has already dried out. Even though I have this sealed as well as I can, if you notice the sides kind of rock back and forth. So they're not fully sealed, like on the side right now I have it fully pressed down, but on the side air is still getting in. So maybe that's why they are drying out. Um, hopefully that will not be the case with these, but with my Mineral Wear Cushion Foundation, it has already dried out in one month. So you wanna make sure that you close them. And next we have the yellow and green, very similar to the other. It has the yellow and the green sponge applicator. The tab to close it and then yellow and green inside and it looks a bit more mustard than yellow but we'll see how this works so there are the colors of the color corrector and I plan to try these in the future they're a very liquidy consistency, definitely not close to color corrector sticks. Definitely more like a foundation than a color corrector stick. And these will be coming out next month and they will be $16.95. Next we have the Insta Ready Full Coverage Concealer with an SPF of 30. I feel like a lot of these things have SPF, which is good for keeping your skin healthy, but may cause flashbacks in flash photography. So I will have to test that out as I'm trying these products. But this comes with a little, little beauty sponge and a little tube. I don't know if this comes in more than one shade. If it does not, that seems a little strange. Um, but we'll check it out. It's full coverage concealer. Let's see, how do you apply it? Oh, it comes in a little squirt tube. Let's see if we can get this to come out. I couldn't before. There we go, now it's working. It's pretty thick, it's very thick, and this is too dark for my coloring. Can you see it right here? It's probably darker than my skin is already, so this would not, this color would not work for, for me. It's too orange, too tan. Maybe for someone with medium skin this would work, but this would not be a concealer that I could use, it's too dark. I feel like that's the problem I've had with some other concealers by Physicians Formula in the past. It's too dark for light or fair skin tones. So, <clears throat> nice concept, but this one won't be working for me. But this will be available in March for $10.95. <coughs> You'll have to excuse me. I feel like I'm getting another cold. Leave a. Moving on to the Bronze Booster Highlight and Contour Palette. There is a shimmer palette. And a matte palette and as I explained in the beginning the lightest color in the shimmer palette exploded all over everything so I do not have that one to swatch for you but I will swatch the others the first is the shimmer palette comes with the three colors yeah, there's something wrong with this palette anyway it comes with like a pearly white which I don't have to show you kind of a gold and then almost a bronze copper color which I'm not sure how this would be a highlighter for any skin tone but we'll see and then it comes with a mirror and a brush as most of their products do so I will swatch the gold one for you 
It's right here. It's very light and gold. It's very buttery. And then this orangey one. Yeah, I don't see how this would be a highlighter for any skin tone. It's like an orange copper. It would make a gorgeous eyeshadow, but I don't think that it would work as a highlighter. It's just too orange. So I'm curious to see what this color will look like on me. It's a white pearly color. It was all over me while I was cleaning things, but I didn't actually get a chance to swatch it. My hands were just covered in shimmer powder. So that's that. And then the Bronze Booster Matte Contour Palette has the highlight shade, a cool brown, and a warm brown. This is the highlight shade right there. They're very, very soft. There's the cool brown. And here is the warm brown. So you can see highlight, cool, and warm. I really like the cool brown. It'll be more like a natural shadow than the warm brown, but this would probably be perfect for some darker skin tones. I just am not a darker skin tone. And these will be available in January and they will retail for $14.95. And they have vitamins and moisturizers and antioxidants to give you a glowing finish. I like that their products almost always have something good for your skin in them. So that's really nice. Next, we have the cousin to the butter bronzer. We have the butter blushes. These come in two colors. This one is plum rose and this one is natural glow. Natural glow is like a peachy pink with a gold sheen and plum rose it's pretty much what it sounds like a mauvey plummy rose color and it's matte so let me swatch those for you somewhere all right so this one is plum rose this right here right here so it's a matte mauve color and then natural glow is a shimmery pinkish gold color. Very pretty. I feel like this could be a dupe for the NARS Orgasm or the MAC Cosmetics Nutcracker Sweet Fairy Dust Blush, I think it's called. It's like that pink one with the gold undertone. Very, very pretty. And these smell like coconut, just like the butter bronzer. These will be available in March for $12.95, and I know some people have said that they're already popping up at stores, so keep your eyes out. 